Hi, this is Mr. Kish. I'm in Yosemite National Park in Tuolumne Meadows. Uh, behind me is the Matthews Crest. You can see it starts right over there. And the climb actually goes up, follows the ridge crest all the way across. Most people repel down at the north summit. That's the second one. They repel down and then head out. We haven't decided whether we're going to go the rest of the way or not. And what I've been doing so far is hiking in. It's been about two and a half hours. Uh, I think roughly four miles. And the whole idea getting to this point is to make sure that our mitochondria have enough oxygen and glucose. And the way we do this, um, we have a couple choices. You could eat food to get the to get all kinds of different carbohydrates in your body, but then your digestive system has to break them down, make them to simpler sugars, get the glucose to your cells, and then eventually you get some energy. The problem with that is it sucks blood away from your muscles, and your muscles need the blood so that they can get the oxygen you're breathing in. So what we use while we're hiking, instead of eating food, is we use energy gels. This one uh, is the Goo brand, vanilla bean, very tasty. I've got a couple empty ones, and this one is Cliff Shot Strawberry. And what these have in them is essentially a really simple form of glucose. It's got some salt, some other flavoring, stuff like that, so it doesn't make you vomit. And it has 100 calories. The idea behind this is you eat one of these. It's kind of like eating a couple spoonfuls full of jelly, and then you drink some water with it. It goes down into your digestive system and goes straight into your bloodstream through the mucous membranes. It doesn't actually, the blood doesn't have to go into your stomach and start churning it and have this go through your small intestine. It goes in there way quicker. So as long as you do one of these every 45 minutes, you don't have to eat. So we'll update you once we're on the climb. We don't know how long it'll take, um, but we're planning on a 12 hour day. So if we're gonna move for 12 hours, we need to make sure our mitochondria are happy. They're getting plenty of glucose and oxygen. Hi, this is Mr. Kish again. We're now on the ridge, on the Matthews Crest. We're two pitches up, um, and now what we need to do is the two of us need to climb along there until we get to a point where we can get down. There's a place where we can repel or we can finish it until it is not climbing anymore. Um, we've been going a little longer. I think we started at 10.20, it's now 11.52. Uh, but I've had two breaks to belay, but what I haven't done is I haven't put any there's no glucose in my body right now for my mitochondria, so up ahead I could start to bonk or feel, feel the need for those. I have been drinking water, because I've got that right here, and I've been breathing. The problem is, is I don't have any of this, so the key here is get some glucose in your body before you feel that, that you need it. Once you feel you need it, that's a little too late. That Your mitochondria, they're hurting, they're having a hard time, they can't make ATP in your cells, and your muscle cells are starting to get tired. So. I'm going to eat one of these, have a little water, and we're going to keep climbing. Hi, this is Mr. Kish again. We're on the summit now. Um, if you take a look down the ridge, you can see what we just climbed up. Uh, pretty much, it just went up and down a whole bunch and then it dropped right here. And we popped up the other side of this. And now we have two choices. We could repel off and hike out the way we came. Uh, so we'd go back down to that. Or, we can keep going on that ridge. We're making pretty good time, and our energy levels, we're feeling pretty good. So we're, gonna, we're thinking we're going to try that. Um, we've been going a little over five hours now. And right about now, the, the goo that I've been eating isn't quite cutting it. So I need, um, it's making my stomach feel empty, even though my mitochondria are getting the glucose and oxygen that they need. So what I'm doing is I'm eating about half of a Cliff Bar. These are about 240 calories each. If I eat the whole thing, then I'll have that, I'll want to take a nap after eating lunch, and being on that ridge is no time to want to take a nap. And that's because all the blood in my body is going straight to my stomach to digest this stuff. So if I eat just a little bit, it won't take as much blood. And then 
I don't know, in a half hour or so, I'll eat the rest, see how I'm feeling, and keep drinking water. See you in a little bit. Hi, this is Mr. Kish again. Um, we're off the climb from the north summit. The last video you can see there's two summits. Ours is the one on your left. That's where we took the last video and we decided instead of just coming down that gully that we'd finish it out and we did pretty much most of that ridge that you see and then hiked along here and right over to here and, and right now what we're feeling is dehydration. We have plenty of food. The problem is is right up there on that summit we ran out of water and right now we're both a little thirsty I'm feeling a little bit of a headache, which could be altitude, it could be just lack of water. And we're going to punch up over this, start heading down to the car and swing by a lake on the way, fill up our water um, water bottles, treat them, and start rehydrating. Um, and ultimately make our mitochondria happy.